Hey, this is George. And this is Zach. Derunk Comics coming at you. Um, yes. It's not really live because we're recording this. And then we're it's, gonna... it's live right now. All right, so it's live for us, recorded for you. For You're your, welcome. For your viewing pleasure. All right. <laughs> so, we got uh, what we've got for you today. A couple things that have been uh, recently acquired. Um, we're going to put them up into a, like a... A thing. Yeah. And we're going to do a thing. We're going to let you see the stuff that was purchased with money. Better than us holding it up. If you've seen the last episode, um, George already has, yeah. has done it. He's done a preview for you. It's called the new format. The new format. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, no. The, okay. The, the the boss upstairs, yeah. you know, came down on us and said we gotta change up the format to get more viewers. Get, okay, that works. Right. Paying people starts. Yeah, it helps with that. All right, we're so not gonna pay you. yeah. Oh, you promised them money? I didn't promise. I just told them we're not gonna pay them. Huh. We give them enough. Yeah, yeah. You, we're paying you with entertainment, <laughs> so check it out. <laughs> All right, so this. Is probably not what you were expecting. This is <laughs> Rainbow Bright uh, by Dynamite Comics. Uh, it's one of them all ages comic books. Uh, this is uh, something that we picked up for picked up for my wife. Uh, just got it today, so um, uh, came out on Wednesday, which was October um, something. Yes, October something. I'm gonna go with the third. It was the third. All right. I'm so I'm gonna say it was the second. No, here's the third. Yep, Wednesday the third. All right. All right, so this is uh, cover A. Then we also got a couple variant covers of that same book. This is kind of her more... This is this is what she looked like back in the 80s. Yes. Like, this is what people that, that know of Rainbow Bright are familiar with. And there was one other Rainbow Bright. Whee! I think that's my wife's favorite one, because... It's colorful and it has one of the sprite thingies on it. It's it, traditional and then uh, it, it uh, has kind of an action pose. All right, it's action pose and kind of a traditional theme. Yeah. Moving right along, we got Justice League number one, kind of uh, not a sketch variant, but a black and white variant. Jim Lee, Batman. Is it what's what's the difference between a sketch variant and a black and white? Well, the sketch would be Just more like pen, pencil y. Okay. Yeah, and they did right, make one. Of the, they did make one of that, but All right, gotcha. that's not this one. This one only sent me back like five bucks. So, okay, pretty cool find. I got this at a Comic Con up here in Minnesota today, which was pretty. Uh, a good, good haul I got there. Yeah, I got another. You, you made out like a bandit. Like a bandit. Like a bandit. All right. Like this guy, you busting out. Yeah, busted out. All right, Man of Steel, eighteen. First full appearance of Doomsday, got it for ten bucks, which is a pretty good price in my opinion. So I, I was, yeah. you know, I already have one of these, but if I, if, if I tomorrow if I find one of these for ten bucks, I'm gonna buy it. So and you'll give it to me. I'm gonna buy it. That's where we end <laughs> that's, that. That's where it stops. All right. Oh, uh, Batgirl number twenty-five, Josh Middleton variant, not the one that I wanted to get. I wanted to get number twenty-three, but. The only one I could find there was sixty bucks, and I'm crafty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking find one for cheaper than that. Yeah, but this is still a really cool cover, kind of flirty. I mean, if if uh, that was like a Snapchat you got from Batgirl, you would think you were uh, that she was into you. I I would, I would, yeah. but um, we we both know that Batgirl has no interest in me. So. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if you got this, if you got this from her, you'd be like, oh. <laughs> I also don't do Snapchat. So. Excellent. <laughs> All right. X-Men Black, number one. Um, Magneto and... A big change for Apocalypse during this in this episode. Or in this episode. Yeah. In this issue. I mean, maybe I would have said spoiler before I said that. But I didn't I didn't say what happens. I okay. said yeah, there is a big change for him. There is a big change, though. Written by yes. Chris Claremont, which is cool to yeah. see uh, an, an older writer getting back into uh, writing for X-Men comic books. So that... Um, cool looking cover and really good story on that one this one i think me and zach both agree on this that the art looks like uh wah, wah. yeah but it's still cool to see a mashup between these two characters but 
I, I mean, I, I get there's different, you know, you can tell this is a traditional Max drawing. Right, yeah. But they could have at least did the bat symbol but, properly. But he just, he, he, he looks like a, a past your prime wrestler. Yeah. You know, it's it's like one of one of them that should have retired like Let me tell ago. you something <laughs> brother. He's 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 lumpy. Yeah. I'll, I'll and my time. wife pointed out that um there's no reason why his legs should be able to do that. That looks, come out of his out of his Yeah, that like out of his utility abdomen. belt. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad to have it, but yeah, the, the art is a little funky. All right, this is Superior Octopus number one, virgin cover. And this is really virgin cover because there is no words, no barcode. It's just, yeah, I didn't know what this one was until you yeah, told me. It just looked like a, I printed a picture <laughs> of Dr. <laughs> Octopus. But, um, yeah, you, you like the green and yellow. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's the variant cover for Superior Octopus, which kind of looks like he's... Uh, Got his own Spider-Man suit with octopus arms, which is yeah. kind of cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, got that. Then I scored on this one, which is Jim Lee variant of Justice League number nine, showing the Flash running real fast. <laughs> it's like, woo! <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say about that one. So. Choo, I choo, like it, I like choo, it. Choo. I just... We we, yeah, we we'll go with the zoom zoom noises. Some, sometimes sound effects say more than words. Yes, and then this one this one caused me a dilemma. Hmm. So this is cover A, the normal cover of the book. It's a foil cover. Right. It's not a variant. Yes. The variant was not a foil cover, and I yes. was torn between my love of variants and foil, and I decided to go with uh, foil. Um, this is this book really shows Batman dealing with the repercussions of something happening to Nightwing, and he, mm, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 this is that one. Instead of, uh, you know, he's not really cool about it. You know, he's well, understandably, he's little, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, when when you take Nightwing's lunch money, you know, Batman's he's... gonna get to the bottom of that real quick. Because because billionaires don't have more lunch money. Nope. Uh, that's how you stay a billionaire. That's, that's, <laughs> you get that lunch money back. All right. Now, this is one I have been looking for for quite some time. This is the first appearance of Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis. Batman Annual Number 4. First print. They made a couple prints of this because it was a popular one. And yeah. it also shows Superman Beyond. Um, really cool book. I love Batman Beyond. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, I I was disappointed when like they, there was talks about making a live action movie for a while and then it stopped and then it came back and then it stopped. Um, I'm still hoping that they do it. Oh, they will. Eventually. Um, but Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker. You seen that? I'm, I I've seen it. I've seen both the director's cut and the non director's cut. Um, oh, fancy. I've yeah. I I it's, there are story points about that I I don't care for. Um, but that's 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 for another time. All right. Another time. Mm -hmm. We'll do like a movie episode or something. Gotcha. All right. Now, then I got this guy. Now, this one's fancy. So this... Literally fancy. ...is the cover. I mean, but, 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 this is what the thing came in, okay? So yep. this, I got... It says right there, Pure Silver Foil Collection. This is from the New Zealand Mint, which... Does a lot of different collectibles for uh, comic books and Star Wars, and they made a replica of the cover of Action Comics number one, which is just beautiful. Ta -da. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah. I, I've been. Uh, I can I can speak from experience. It it looks much more impressive in person than it does on camera. Um, it's kind of hard to pick up the fact that it is in fact silver. Um, on on camera, but uh, yeah, the New Zealand Mint, it is, it is really it is really a gorgeous cover. Uh, I love the dude at the left hand bottom yeah. left hand corner, like ah, oh, what is that guy? Put guy put down that car, guy. He's, he's crazy. <laughs> so that is really <laughs> fun, and then this, I got this. One I'm a little jealous of. Yes, I got. Batman number 612 in CGC, a 9.8. Jim Lee art, 
just amazing watching uh, Jeff Loeb's story, watching Batman just choke the life. Or Superman choked Superman the life. Superman choking the Superman life. Superman choked the life out of Batman on his own yeah. comic book. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> as if like he told someone to take a picture of it, and he like posed <laughs> like, "Hey, look at me! I'm choking the shit out of Batman. <laughs> Watch this." I I have actually made poses like that before, like like with statues and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Good to clarify with statues. With statues, yes. Okay. No, that's, <laughs> whew, that was going to get awkward, folks. <laughs> All right, well, that does it for uh, what I had to show you today. And we're back. We are back. I was going to jump in there. I, I, you know what? I wanted the chance. All right, well. My apologies. It was a, Should we start over? It's a business decision. <laughs> <part of it. laughs> yes. Executive decision. <laughs> mm-hmm. We really shouldn't drink at the same time, so we should... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was right. thirsty, you were thirsty, whatever. It happens. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool shit that we showed there. I, I liked it, yeah. What was your favorite item there? My favorite one was um, the... Uh, which The Batgirl one. Oh, the... the... Batgirl one. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've actually liked the Batgirl character since, whatever, the Adam West series. Um, honestly, she seemed like, like to be the... the uh, in a show that's just full of camp, she seemed to be the least campy one out Ooh. of all of them. Um, and then it went on to uh, uh, Cassandra Kane, who took over for a while. Um, my it was a much darker bad girl. My mom, that was when she realized first realized that I like girls. Cause <laughs> she, <laughs> not that you know she was worried about me liking <laughs> anything else, but. You know, it's one of those things you monitor when you have a kid. Like, hey, you know, what kind of kid are, are, is growing here? And, right. And okay. uh, eventually one day, I, I'm like, hey, Mom, I sure do like Batgirl's purple <laughs> suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, you know, hormones. Yeah. It was either hormones, that or but, Robin, you know? Like, but, it, it was one yeah. of the... <laughs> and, and you're good either way. Yeah, you yeah. definitely are. You're, but, okay. You know, Which like, reminds me, I have a friend that, that dresses up as Robin. Like, not, 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 we're not going in that direction, but I'm just saying that he, he actually like he, he, he's a he's a green pants Robin or no no or like, pantyhose like 16, Robin sixties yeah ah pantyhose Robin pantyhose Robin yeah and he's like I mean he's he's a slender guy so I mean it's it's not like that helps yeah yeah but it's it, I don't know it, it it's cool all right well we were sidetracked there I apologize. Hey, um, check out our next video. Um, mm. We're gonna we we both went to a comic con today, and uh, uh, there were some dollar bin purchases. I, I took my wristband off. I didn't. I wanted to wear it for this. this is the mcbacomiccons.com um, for for I don't know if that's how how widespread that is, but it's, it's definitely wide. here. It's worldwide now. It's worldwide coming at you. It's hot now. Came out on Drunk Comics. I wanted to do like a hand gesture or something, but I, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide. <clears throat> All right, so uh, check out. Uh, be on the lookout for our next video. Um, that's really all I got to talk about today. What about you? Doing? Check out the next video. Okay. Oh, um, shoot! I know there was something. You know oh. what? Hey, uh, subscribing. Ah, you should do that. Yes. There's there's buttons. I'm not exactly sure like the process. I can't tell you the process off the top of my head, um, but it's there. Um, you you, you want to talk about that because I I hey I, subscribe <laughs> to the video <laughs> subscribe to, like to it. the channel like the video. Um, I there's not yet been a comment on one of my videos that I have not replied to. So um, if you like chatting comic books, I can be an easy forum for us to uh chat away on that and uh but yeah it's a good time we like comics and uh like to get derunk <laughs> <laughs> as shown there getting a little emotional <laughs> like, i love alcohol <laughs> <laughs> the food is so yeah. good all right hey last call let's hit it that was good derunk responsibly folks See ya.